Hello, welcome to Fountain FX on Monday the 24th of November 2014. Um, it's all well and good uh, me being able to pick great trades etc and show you oh take this trade take that trade but uh, the key purpose of our website and our business is to help other people like yourself uh, learn from us that you can actually take advantage that you can then start to spot the trades and the potential trades that are coming up so what we're going to do in this session is I've just switched over to the euro US dollar <clears throat> on the daily chart we can see that price has been steadily falling in this particular currency pair at the moment and price fell quite rapidly uh, at the end of last week so therefore US dollar strong euro is weak so what are the opportunities here that we can gain from this current move bear in mind if you look at the bottom on the daily chart we've got the MACD pushing up from this point here even though price has actually pushed down lower so um, it may be saying therefore there's an opportunity for price to turn but the point is is that we look at price before we look at the MACD or anything like that so don't worry too much about what the MACD is showing because it's showing a gradual up uh, it's showing a divergence basically we've got price uh, the MACD pushing up as price is pushing down so we may potentially be at a situation where price is likely to turn but at the moment in terms of the histogram that's pushing down which is in line with the current price move which is pushed down so now let's go down into a smaller time frame and see what else we can see and what we can see on the four hour chart is that there's a nice big gap here where price fell quite rapidly from the highs here at the 125.60 pushed all the way down to the lows here at the 123.70 so almost more virtually 200 points drop from last week so that was a nice trade if you were able to get it how could we have traded that well quite simply we run a trend line under here trend line across the top break of the trend line gives us an entry thank you very much so we'd have got in somewhere around about the 125 20 125 uh, dead um, so yeah we'd have allowed sort of like 40 50 points to have gone but we'd have still got in on that trade and taken it south anyway irrelevant to that where's price now well price has now come down into this previous low here of the 123.70 in fact if we take this line right the way down to the bottom we can see here candlestick close sorry candlestick open because that's a blue candlestick it's showing that price is pushing up so there was a gap down into this low and then price has rallied from there we probably find that that was the um, uh, this morning's open early this morning in the Asian session if I just check that as it say what the time is yeah there you go midnight so that was the open so basically last week closed at this level and it fell and it opened up right the way down here which is the low of this previous performance here with the um, wicks etc and now price is starting to push up but look where price is pushing up into it's pushing up into what was previously support and previously support so what often does previous support become it becomes resistance so we can see that potentially this could turn and this could be giving offering us a great entry to sell at and see price push down what do we want to do we probably want to see some confirmation the way in which we get some confirmation is we run a trend line and we see the break of that trend line that gives us confirmation to sell therefore we sell so there's that one option the other option is is that we see a break of this area of uh, support we put a line across there based on the close of the candlesticks at this point so if price pushes above this level then we would look for where price then comes back down to it for us to then buy and go long and if it does break through there then what have we got we've got a nice big area of movement where price fell with rapid momentum and therefore we would expect there won't be necessarily a lot of buyers and sellers against us or a lot of sellers in there because it just fell there was no resistance in that area or or fluctuation from price pushing up and down it just collapsed so therefore we've got less um, resistance to the price moving back up so uh, should it break through it would be a nice confirmation to say go long and take the price up to this target area up here at around about the 125.50 125.60 to close out so there are your options that's what can possibly happen just looking at price it's either going to use this as an area of resistance or it's going to break through it and use it as an area of support to then go higher um, so we've got two options we 
buy once this area is broken or we sell once it's obviously supported and this trend line is broken and price starts to push down. And that's it from Fountain FX. Hopefully that's simple and easy for you to follow. And we will catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.